Hi and welcome. My name is Rich Bassini. Today is July 19th, 2020. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers who recently subscribed to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you like the content and come back for more. Today, I want to just share some little techniques and some little tips uh, on how I prep my stuff, get ready for taking photos, and I just want to go over it really quick with you. Anyway, what I want to talk to you guys about today is um, I'm getting ready to take some, uh, there was a photo, I only got two items here. I'm going to basically show you how I prep um, the items I want to, I put up, and I got them from my, 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 my relative gave me this here. It's one of these uh, vintage air guide uh what do you call compasses that you would put in your car and some people say you can put these on your boat as well the only thing with this one here it is vintage the light bulb thing here this way you press the press the button here the light's supposed to go on there's a battery you now it's a little light in there that's battery operated on a triple a battery i believe it is and uh, it doesn't work so i'm going to put that up there but it, otherwise it's clean it's a pretty good condition it's an air guide it's vintage it's a vintage one so i'm going to put that up and take pictures with that and the other thing is this is snoopy piggy bank it's a piggy bank right now I want to prep it up um, and I'm gonna just show you what I do basically to get it ready I know it sounds crazy like crazy oh, what's what's so hard to, you know what are you gonna show me this for but I just want to show you some little eh, cleaning techniques and things of what I do but uh, the basic cleaning is what you're gonna do on it as, as always and I got a little point to stick here and that's basically for when I take my photos um, I have to, and the reason why I got the point to stick out is if you could see right up over here can you see it here well little wood stock over here has been broken let me move around so it doesn't break here it's been broken and you can see here if you can see it my webcam will zoom in there is it's someone glued it on not me i didn't do it um you know but they you know it's been glued on so i want to use my little pointer stick to point that out uh, when i get it up or you know put it up on uh, take my photos um and also i have to point out too i want to use the pointer stick for this here there are chips. You, again, my webcam for some reason I pick up. There's there's chips right over here. You can't see that. I don't think you can see. It's too bright in here, right? Um, yeah, there's chips on. You got to take my word for it on, on this bottom of this feet here. Now, if you had ceramic paint, you could uh, you know touch it up and stuff like that. Uh, the yellow paint, I don't have any of that stuff. I don't have ceramic paint for it anyway. But what I want to do is basically when I clean up my units, my, my the things I got to put up for you, um, I just show what I basically really do really quick here. I know my desk has got some rags on and stuff like that there. Um, what I want to do is, first off, I always say it's good to have markers, okay? It's always good to have permanent markers. And you're probably wondering what's the purpose of these here. Well, here it looks like there's a little paint that came off, and I want to put this little base back on again. So I got my little trustworthy glue here. Um, what I want to do is, I know people say, well, you, you, it's not like a question of masking a problem. It's a question of making it look good, right? So I just want to touch up over here a little with the red. Of course, people are going to look at it and notice it, but it just, you know, just, I just, I don't mind. I just do this here. Um, some cases I try to like blend it with my hand a little here. Um, but what the main, I don't know, like I said, that was part of the uh, adhesive in there. I couldn't get it off, so I'm not going to keep scratch because it is ceramic. You're probably wondering why I want the uh, black magic marker, um, the permanent one, is if this one, uh, this this particular uh, Snoopy does not have any chips on it, or like faded, not chips, faded paint. Um, I would just take a, a permanent marker and just like touch it up, and it works. Believe me, it works. Uh, I, unfortunately, I can't show you, but it's kind of like a little technique I want to share with you as far as like how I, you know, make it look good. All right, um, but here. I want to, that's that's one of the techniques I want to show you, like, well, not technique, but, you know, one of the things I do to make it look nice. Uh, the other thing I want to do here is um, put this little pad back on here. It's missing over here. See, it's where I touched up with the paint there, right over here. Um, so that's where the little guy comes with the glue here. And I got this, it's, I guess, no, well, got this at my local dollar store. It's like a crazy glue. And, uh... <laughs> It really works pretty good, I have to honestly say. So I'm just going to put a little dab on here. Move it over here, just what I'm doing here. Okay, yeah, you can't see it that much, but I'll move it back a little over here. Just going to put a little dab on here. Let me make sure you get the right side. Yeah. Um, just put a little one here. Just a couple little dabs. Uh, yeah, because, you know, sometimes these things fall off in transit, you know, where people move around. Don't forget they're in thrift stores and stuff. This, this item here... 
Oh, it came from a, I think a yard sale. I always hate picking these little things. I hate getting crazy with my fingers. It's hard to get off. Okay, let's get this guy back up here. Um, yeah, let's put him over here for now. With that, just keep on that rig. Just for QRS. Just to, until it sticks on here. <coughs> let's go like this. I just don't want it to stick to my desk. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, and anyway, the other thing I want to share with you guys is if you go to the dollar store, get yourself toothpaste. I didn't get this also at Walmart, too. I know, you know, it's ultra bright, but um, I find it, it's a very light abrasive. Of course, you use it on your teeth, of course, but um, it has a lot of good purposes to it. I use this here to clean uh, plastics. If there's things that are like stained or whatever on a plastic, whatever, I will use this here. You basically get to get clean cloth like this. And like Snoopy has some little marks on here. Let me just make sure that things aren't coming off here. I want to make sure it's back on there. See, now it's back on there again. It was coming loose. So, you know, I'm very fussy that way. I like to make sure everything's, uh, you know, copacetic when it comes to getting these things ready for photography pictures. Um, so, and you can keep it. Make sure if you're going to use it for that purpose, you don't. You, I'm not saying it's going to be contaminated, but you know you might want to keep a little around. And basically, what you want to do is just get a little, little dab on there like that on the rag, okay. And I just want to go over some of like Snoopy's got like a little spots on here. I couldn't get it off. I usually use sometimes I use a window cleaner because it's got like a light ammonia in it, whatever. Yeah, and I usually use a, a sponge. I try to get it worn because I don't want this to be too abrasive, and you know. To do this just to give us a little light cleaning, you know, that's what I did earlier. But what I want to do is with the Snoopy, and you got to be careful when it comes to doing things like this, folks, because you don't want to rub off paint and you don't want to do too hard. It just seems the only reason I'm using this here, folks, is because it seems like there's like little markings on here, and this particular thing ain't cleaning it. Now, some people may say maybe you got to use a stronger cleanser. I don't want to go that route. I find that using the toothpaste, it's a very light abrasive. When you get you're using it on your teeth, and um, I use it on plastics as well, and it kind of like really does a good job on it, you know, because you could actually buff a shiner with this thing, believe it or not. So I'm just going to hit it over here really quick and just going to see if I can get it off. Uh, in some cases, you'll see the dirt on there. You don't want to go too much on the painted surfaces like the, where the, you know, the black is on the nose and the eyes. I just want to get around the face. You can't see it, but on the um, in person, it does have like little marks on it. I want to try to get it off. I want to try to get them off. Now, a little Woodstock, I don't want it when it comes to things of this nature. I don't want to play around with it. Somebody did it. I guess they did it. Maybe they crazy glued it. I know I didn't do it. Uh, so I'm going to try to stay away from it as much as possible. Because, you know, once it's broke, it might not be as uh, strong as it used to be. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm just going to hit it over here. Maybe hit over here. I'm going to stay away from Woodstock over here. Uh, yeah, it just seems like it's got like little like marks on it. And I just wanted to... Uh, you know just kind of like clean it up a little all right so I guess I could speed the film up on this part right <laughs> doesn't matter I guess all right and um, sometimes you can see like dirt coming off it on a rig and sometimes you can't it's, see it's very bright in here I guess the way I got my contrast on my uh, webcam so now I just want to just like kind of rub it in like this here take off any any little marks and again you want to be very gentle like this and in some cases, you will see the rag does get it. Well, you can't. Again, you can't see it, folks. I'm sorry. Uh, it does get a little on the dirty side because, again, I did try cleaning it with the window cleaner. Uh, and only re the only reason I did is because it's got like a light ammonia in there. You can use like dishwashing liquid too if you want. But, you know, make sure it's diluted. Uh, you don't want too much. You don't want it to be too much on there. You don't want to use a, too much abrasive stuff on there. Like, that's why I got a, a faded used sponge like that. Because this stuff here. If you are, if it's too new, and if you're cleaning plastics like guitars or whatever, like the like the rock band guitars, they got a little smudge on there. This will put scratches in there uh, if it's too new. So okay. So anyway, um, I'm just gonna do that really quick here. Speed the camera up. You know, I'll uh, just do it like this, and just want to kind of like go over really quick here, and just want to clean up a little. I got my camera set up in the back. So uh, he's going to be all ready to take pictures. Um, yeah, I mean, so here. And again, like I said, I have to point out with my little point here that there is a chip on right over here. You can't see it because, like I said, again, the contrast is too bright. It's too bright in here. 
Um, let me see something like this. All right. If you ever get a chance, try it. Try it with the toothpaste on certain things. But remember, it is a light and a, a light abrasive. So you know, be careful. You're not going to scratch certain things with it. You know, you can it can scratch too. You know, I'm just doing this because, like I said, I got some marks on here, and apparently. Well, whoever did the, the put this in the kiln, whatever, when they blasted it there, you know, because they usually put these in the kiln in some cases, um, they must have not cleaned it properly because even with toothpaste, normally would take it off, um, it still seems like it's got like little marks on the face. So that's going to lead me to um, put in my description, you know, has some light markings on it. For the most part, sometimes I can get it pretty much cleaned up really good, but this particular case, on this particular item here, uh, you can't do it right now. All right, so on that, and this one I can't. So let me just go over this really quick. Take off the excess. Yeah, too bad uh, Woodstock had a break on here, but you got to be careful with these things. And uh, I got the box with it with a lot of bubble wrap. When it comes to shipping these things out, it's always going to be a little something. I don't know the price point on it, folks. I don't know the price point, but um, yeah, that's what I did there. Like I said, I fixed this and that. Um, this had the price on. Looks like someone mocked it off already. I guess they didn't want nobody to know where they paid for it. Uh, but we're gonna see. As far as a price point, I don't know what I'm gonna put in here for a price point. Um, let me just hit this right over here. Just want to give it a little light rub. It still has the cleanser on it. And you, when you're doing the cleaning like this, yet go over it gently. You know, go over it gently. You don't wanna, you don't wanna scratch it because no, it's not because it's really worn. Um, you don't wanna scratch these ceramics on here. And then again, like another clean rig I got here. Just hit it like that. Okay. I got my camera and a tripod set up back there, so it's going to be all ready for pitches. And the other thing I want to share with you really quick. I don't want to take too much time. Just, just like a little quick tip type of thing of how I prep. Um, I want to show you how to recycle uh, padded envelopes. I only got one. I already did the other ones. I was going to do a video on it, the, on the other, you know, once before, but I didn't. And I do apologize about that. Let's put Snoopy on the side over here for now. We're going to come back to him. Whoops. And this one here, um, when it comes to things of this nature here, uh, I would just give this a light cleaning with the, still got some cleanser on here. It doesn't really need much because this thing's like new, even though it's vintage, you know. Just give it like a little wipe, a little wipe down. All right. And all I'm using basically is just window cleaner on this here. Okay. Now, on this, if I want to, uh, while I was thinking of it, I, if I have two-sided tape, I could probably list it with it, you know, put it on the side. This way, the person can mount it in their car if they choose to do so. I could say it's pretty clean and nice and shiny. Yeah. Um, you know, I could put, like, I have two-sided tape to put here in case they want to stick it on their car like that. People would buy these for the cars. You can still get them. Get, they come newer. But this is like, a, this is, for what I understand, this is a vintage one. Okay. So, uh. Yeah, and you can see it's nice and clean. No scratches on the uh, glass here. Whatever, I think it's glass. It feels like it. Or plastic. Maybe it's just nice, shiny plastic. I never had one. I've never seen them in stores. I had a few friends that used to buy these things. I did put them on their car or whatever. But um, needless to say, that's neither here or there. All right. Now, the other thing I want to share with you guys really quick is um, when you get an envelope like this here, it's always hard. Again, it's like, let me go back over here. That's where you get some more. They got the ceramic. You know, not ceramic and ceramic <laughs> um they got this here with all the adhesive on it i like to recycle these things it's a padded envelope some people may bake this and say i'd rather just throw it in the garbage you know but there is a way of taking it off without driving yourself crazy you know when you peel it and then one piece peels the other when you come across a thing like this here get yourself well now this this one i'll show you here this hair dryer broke okay it's and it broke it's funny it broke it's like more like a heat gun now it broke on high heat. Um, rather than throwing it out, I use it to for this purpose. Okay, and I'm going to plug it in, and um, of course I'm going to be drowned out. But I just want to show you how it works, how I how I end up taking it off. Because anybody who recycles like I do, this is a pain in the neck trying to get these off in pieces because you end up getting little piece, a little piece. So when you come across this here, don't try to peel it off. Um, this just happens to be broken. The switch don't work on it, so I said I'm not going to throw it out. I said I got to use for it. The only way it works is I got to plug it in and out. And for those who know me, I consider myself a frugal entrepreneur, and I I, I take everything I have and I utilize it to its fullest. You know. So, so what I'm going to do is I basically just 
And you don't want to do too long because this will actually melt the bag and it is padded. So what you want to do is um, heat it up. I'm going to get a start on if I can, all possible. Let me see if I can get a start. I mean, this thing is hot. This thing will literally burn your hand this year. And that's another thing, too. you got to be careful when it comes to it. Uh, you don't want you want to kind of like move it back and forth because it will damage the bag too, you know. So let me try it over here. Let's see if I can get it going here. Okay, this is really a tacky one, but <coughs> I'm starting getting it started here. And uh, you move it back and forth. Just don't leave it on it because it will destroy the bag. All right, and. I think you see where I'm going with this here. Right. Do a couple more little shots here. All right, let's heat it up. And as you can see, it will come off nice and easy. Okay. Um, well, somewhat easy. And you know, you know when you have those things where where the thing always gets stuck in there, like a little piece breaks. I don't think I left it too long on here. Um, should hit a little more, but I think you guys get the gist of it. It's coming off slow, but surely. I think it needs just a little more heat to work the right way. Um, the only thing I found doing with this here, uh, <laughs> there you go. And now I really got it off here. Um, apparently I didn't do it too long, but since I'm rushing, a lot of it is coming off here. Um, I didn't leave it on long enough. Let me get this out of here. It is sticky as anything, I'll tell you. Sometimes you have to get that little piece there. So, again, gotta go over here like this. I think you guys got the judge of it. I'm not gonna take too much of your time with this here. I'll do this when I come back, but as you can see, 99% of it came off. I didn't do it that part right after you get it all off. It's <laughs> very tacky. So people may say, well, what do you do with the tackiness? Um, I try to print out the label when I print out my label I print it out full scale pretty much like full for the full amount there full page and I usually put it right over there and that solves the problem okay so that's another little tip the other thing I came across this morning I didn't want to set up my trifold um, I told you guys I think I did a video once before where you, if you're new you probably don't really know what I'm talking about I made a trifold uh, where you open it up, it bends this way and it opens this way, you know. And I decided to try something a little different. So what I did, going back here, let me just show you really quick. I had taken this black towel, which I don't use. I use it basically for photography purposes. And I said to myself, if you could see in the back there where the, where the dinette table is there, there's a light mount there, like a, what do you call it, there was table lamp type things. And what I did was, very simple, I borrowed two of these clamps from my green, well, my white screen. I borrowed two of them because I usually have two on each side to pull it this way to make it torque, you know. And I took this here, which is pretty cool. It's one of those paint sticks, right. And this was given to me relative was going to get rid of it, so you don't want it. And you go, does it work? He goes, yeah. He goes, I just don't, I don't have a need for it. <laughs> he goes, you want it? I said, yeah, I'll take it. You always find, pur I always find purposes for things, you know. And what I did is I said, look, I don't want to set the trifold up again. I don't want to go in there and take the, because for the white background. And I figured with the Snoopy uh, bank, it's good to, you know, I like to do contrasting. Now, some people say, well, when it comes to selling objects, it's always good to use a white background. And it's true. But in some cases, I think uh, by you know doing a different color in some cases, I think it highlights the thing more. You know, uh, I could get away with this in a white one, but Snoopy, like I said, you know, with white on white things, it's hard sometimes. So uh, I decided I'm going to try this here. So what I did was I took this white, this black towel I have, and I use it strictly for things of this nature. And I said, okay, let me uh, take one of my clamps, and that's what I did. I took the clamp and put it over here. Put one here like this. If you guys know me enough, <laughs> my kids will tell you my father's always got something going on. No, seriously. And, um, you know, you can make it this big as you, you know, if you need it longer. But I don't need it that big because I'm just going to 
shoot it this way. So, and then it locks in once you get it where you want it. Again, and even this here, you want to make sure it's torque. You know, you want to make sure it's like that. So, um, like this, that there, and lock it in. So now it's locked, now it won't go. And then you're going to take your clip. You know, sometimes you got to be creative in this business. <laughs> Seriously. And uh, you want to keep it as tight as possible and just clamp it in there. And what I want to do is, I'm going to go over here really quick. I just, all I did was put it on here like this. And now I got a nice backdrop for my uh, photography, for my Snoopy. Oh, you can't see. I'm sorry, guys. I got my camera all off here. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, so now when I put my Snoopy thing here, um, I have a nice backdrop for it. But you can't see, but you'll see the pictures. I'll take pictures and I'll show you. Okay, so basically, those are some of the little technique things I wanted to share with you guys really quick. Um, you know, if you play your cards right and you <laughs> you got a creative mind or whatever, or try to do something of that nature, um, you'll find out there's little ways to uh, circumvent the problem. You know, there's a saying, um, if I could put it up there, I if I find I'll put it up there with Bill Gates. Uh, I'm just taking this off here. He said, um, it's something along the line, uh, like, who would you, what would you, how would you, who would you hire? Uh, I think it's something like, I don't know, it's, I forget how the question went, but he said, I would hire a lazy person, something along the line, I'll, I'll, when I get the quote, I'll put it up there, I would hire a lazy person because they always find ways to get things done or something like that there. And I'm not saying that's the case with me, but I try to circumvent the problem where, if I can make things easier for myself, before I started doing that with that, with the uh, hair dryer, taking these things off, like you see here, I got like a couple little pieces left here, right? I mean, I could turn the hair dryer back on again and just heat it up and peel it off. But I, that's the problem I was having with these things. I was sitting there trying peeling it off and picking and then another piece, because I always want them to come out perfect. I never want them to have anything left like that. And these are, I'm gonna, after I do the video, I'm not gonna show you do it again, but I'm gonna take this off here. And once you do that, you got you can recycle this, uh, this envelope again. And that's what I'm gonna do. Now, I've done it, I've done it on quite a bit of, you know, bit of these uh, envelopes. I had all different sizes. Uh, what happened, my brother was giving them, he was getting them, and he had a whole bunch of them. He goes, Rich, because you want some of these here, can you use them? I said, sure, I could use them. And um, he gave them to me, and I, took that hair dryer, the one that's broken on high heat, and that's what I was doing. I sat there and, uh, you know, I heated it up a little, and I was peeling off. What a, what a pleasure it was because me, I'm very meticulous that way. I wanted to make sure every piece of that label was off of there, you know, because, uh, like, you know, it is, it's your image, it's your name, your, you know, your, it's your business, you know, and how would it look if you just had it that you put a label over here, there's another label sticking there and stuff, and, you know, but that's just the way I am. That's the way I am. I mean, look, you can see it's very sticky. You see, you can see it's sticky. So that was another thing. People say, you know, what do you do with that? Now, another way to get rid of that there, if you don't want to, uh, if you don't have a label big enough to put over something like that, is you would get like a prep soil type of thing or an adhesive remover. It's like, a, you know, you can buy that there. I think they have it. And uh, you could just rub it on there and it'll peel up. And that, then when it happens then, then you get these little, uh, because it coagulates, it's like a little jelly. And you get these little things. I use a rag, you can wipe it off and stuff like that. But I don't know, I just, I didn't want to deal with it because it's a chemical. Now I wear gloves and stuff like that. So I figured the best way to do that there is when I print out my label, the label will be full size and it'll go right over that there. And then I put the tape over because I tape my labels on. And uh, it's no problem, no fuss, no muss. But again, um, just to recap really quick, I have, I think I also have it in green and yellow, I think I said, on these here, uh, permanent markers. These come in handy with certain things of that nature. Um, just for touch-ups, mind you. If you got like a little, if you got something that has like a little nick, not a nick in it, but like a little paint that was faded on something, you could just take a permanent marker like that, black or whatever, red. I also think I have green ones. I think I have a green one too. And you could, you know, just dab it on there, like that there. Uh, these little techniques, you know, help. I mean, you know, uh, with chips, it's not going to work with chips unless you're, you're a person that does ceramics and you want to fix it again and stuff like that. Uh, that there, that Snoopy, when I do the description, I will put that in there, that, you know, the little woodstock, that's what they call a little bird there, but woodstock has been re-glued, not by me, I didn't glue it on there. If I did, I would have told you. 
um, and uh, that it has chips on the um, on Snoopy's feet. So you know, and that's the other thing too, when it comes to um, listing your items on eBay, make sure you're very definitive with your stuff. You know, put it in there. Get you know, put do put all the details in there, and get yourself one of these. You know, what this is this is a stirrer. <laughs> I got a couple of them. A clean one, of course. And I use as a pointer, and that's what I'm going to do with this here. Like when I take my photos, I will show you pictures of me, well, not me, my hand. That's another thing too. Uh, I was watch, I was listening to uh, eBay Radio, and Griff was saying he's he was one of the guys that work. You know, uh, he works at it, uh, eBay, but he was doing the uh, eBay Radio, and he had his co-host there, Lee Marable, and he was saying he goes, when you're doing photos, don't put body parts in there, like your hand or part of your head or whatever it is you know try, you want to try to be somewhat professional when you're doing this here so uh, <laughs> that's why I got the point I mean people could point with their fingers but I don't think that's too cool I'd rather use a stick a pointer stick you know and that's what I got this here just all it is just one of these little stars here that's another little thing uh, another little if you want to call it a tip or whatever um, I'm trying to think of what other things I could share with you guys but for the most part uh, that's basically all I could think of right now um, like I said, if you watch my other videos, you'll see that I do talk about other things as well. This particular video, like I said earlier, for those who are new, um, I do also do vlogs, like I said. So there might be ones that might be talking something off key. It might not even be Let's Talk eBay or it may just be uh, reselling news, whatever. It might be something off key from those topics. But uh, that's okay. That's what keeps the, uh, the content fresh. Hopefully, it'll keep you guys coming back for more and more. Um, but for the most part, you know, that's what I'm all about. That's what I love. My, that's why I created this YouTube channel to share information with people, to help inspire and share. Well, that concludes this video. I hope you found the information helpful. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updated to when I post out new videos, please hit that bell notification icon. If you like this video or any of my videos, and this is the first time checking them out, and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want more information about e-commerce, check out my reselling news and Let's Talk eBay. Until next time, I'm wishing you all the best in your eBay sales. Bye-bye for now.